In this video, we are going to talk about ZO1 in 2023. We are going to talk about what's new in the ZO1 application, how ZO1 is going to fit in your organization, what type of solutions ZO1 can offer your business, and of course, the different applications that are included in ZO1. Let's start with some history. Up to five or six years ago, ZO had multiple applications. Each of them were siloed, which means CRM was independent, ZO books was independent, ZO campaigns, and so on. Each one of those applications was a standalone. And then ZO came up with the idea of ZO1, which is a one license that will include inside all the ZO applications, or the majority of them. The idea was that you as a business, you will have one system, which is ZO1, and it will include solutions for the different departments in your business, such as sales department, marketing, HR, recruiting, legal, and so on. When ZO1 started, everybody were looking for this beautiful solution that will manage their entire business. That wasn't the case, because back then ZO1 was just a license and there was no good integration between the different applications. Six years later, which is 2023, ZO1 1 is actually an application and not only a license. There is lots of functionality around ZO1 1 as a system. And also the applications inside ZO1 1 are actually talking to each other in a very, very nice way. Most of those integrations are flawless and working beautifully. Next, we are going to compare ZO1 to the different CRM systems out there, such as AppSpot, Salesforce, and so on. ZO1 as a system includes lots and lots of different applications, and I don't think that it's fair to compare them to any CRM out there. Most of the CRM out there, they are just CRM with some marketing flavors, but for sure they do not have an in-house, internal, finance system, customer service system, recruiting, HR, and so on. So I don't know even if it's possible to compare ZO1 to other systems. What I can compare is ZO CRM to the rest, and I would say that ZO CRM is the king for companies up to a thousand employees. That's my personal take. The big boys, let's say enterprise with tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of employees, Salesforce will be the winner in this category. But for sure, Salesforce is not a competitor in the small business because relatively it's very expensive to develop on Salesforce and also the licenses are very expensive. So Salesforce as a solution is fantastic for the big boys, for the enterprise, but anything up to a thousand employees, I would say that ZO CRM will be the winner. That's my personal take. Before we start the application demo, I like to give you a small sales pitch. Amazing Business Results is a premium ZO partner located in Canada and the US. We're specializing in architecting systems. Basically, we're getting the business requirements from the business, creating a full architecture around it developing the solution and then providing training to your employees. So the idea is that you will have a beautiful system that actually being used and not only having a system because it's cool to have one. Before I jump to the interface, I will tell you that ZO1 costs $37 per month per user and it's including all the applications I'm going to show you. Yes, $37. There are no hidden fees. There is nothing that is going to jump on you. That's the price. And also in the description below, there is a link to a trial version with no credit card required. Click on it and you can create an account and play with the system. When you're logging into ZO1 for the first time, you will see that you have here a bunch of options. All those options will help you administer the system. As an example, if you have, for example, employees, they will be under the users. For each employee, if I click on one of them, I can see which applications are assigned to the user. And for each one of the application, you can select what kind of roles and permissions will be assigned to this user. Which means from ZO1, 
you can manage your employees and the way that they are going to interact with the different systems. One more cool thing that I really like about Zoho, let's assume that Jeff is now no longer with the company. Instead of going to 50,000 applications and starting to change password and start to be afraid that he will have access to data, I will just click on deactivate and this person is no longer accessing the system. Also, if he will have mobile applications, he will not be able to access them as well. This is a gold mine for business owners, because as a business owner, I can tell you that once we are terminating an employee, it used to be a scary journey, but now nothing is happening. As part of Zoe, you will also have a section of Click, and Click is a system that you can communicate with your employees, which means all the internal communication will be in Zoe. So when you're terminating the license, they will not have access to the communications as well, and credit cards and everything that was sent to them during their employment, everything is gone in a second. You will also be able to uh, work on the application section, you will be able to add applications. Right now you will see that all those applications are already in my ZO1. If I will click on add applications, I can add more. As an example, let's say that I like to have an event management system, which is backstage. Very, very nice system. I will be able to click on it, assign it to my organization, and then I'm adding it. That's how difficult it is to add a new application to your ZO1. You will also have here an admin section. You can have multiple individuals to administer ZO1. I personally like to see one or two people maximum because once someone can manage your ZO1, you will have lots of power and that's also not that great. On the bottom, you will see that you have here domain security. You have more cool stuff, but the majority of the action will be around the applications and users. In the security section, there is you know, there are multiple cool things. Of course, you can force your organization to use two-factor authentication, but there is also one more thing that is very, very nice. You can cage your organization with IP addresses. That means that you can, for example, create a list of IP addresses that will have access to your CRM. Most businesses that like to be secure, they will have a VPN, so all the employees are logging into the VPN and the VPN will be able to access ZO1 and that will restrict other people from logging into your CRM and making changes or hacking your system. We are going to start our journey with ZO CRM. ZO CRM will be the base of all the ZO applications. It will be where your database exists, all your contacts, all your leads, all your opportunities and so on. Zoho CRM will help your business tracking leads coming in, identifying which campaigns or lead sources are profitable and which ones are not, how much money you're making on each one of those lead sources or campaigns. It will help your salespeople manage the lead cycle. Whenever your team is working on leads, the system will help them manage the process so every salesperson will work the same way versus every salesperson doing whatever he wants. Based on that, you will also have reporting to the management and the management will know which salespeople are actually doing their job properly and which one are neglecting their leads. Later on, we are moving to the opportunities. That will be the actual sales cycle. And in the opportunity cycle, you can send automatic proposals, automatic invoices, can follow up automatically when you're sending proposals to make sure that your clients are actually taking action, making sure that your salespeople are actually following up with, with clients and so on. One more cool thing about Zoho CRM is that Zoho CRM can integrate with most of the other Zoho applications. Let's say that a deal is won, basically the opportunity is won and I got paid. With a click of a button, I can automatically create a project in Zoho Projects. So my team will start working on it. Or automatically I can create an invoice in Zoho Books. So I have lots of abilities to integrate the other applications with Zoho CRM. Next, we are going to Zoho Begin. Zoho Begin will be a basic CRM. I don't recommend 
companies that are more than one or two people in the company to use Zoho Begin because there are no automations and no processes in place. The design is awesome, but that's it really. You can do much with it and therefore we're not going to dive too much on Zoho Begin. Next we have Zoho Bookings. Zoho Bookings, it's okay application. Sometimes there are small glitches in the application and therefore I don't work with it too often but for some companies it works very well. So bookings will be in applications that your clients can book appointments with you with a link. So you don't need to call them, you don't need to send emails back and forth, can you make it Wednesday, Thursday and so on. When I'm getting new leads as an example, I will have a link on the email and it will say if you like to book a 15 minutes intro meeting with me, please click here. And the person can click, it books the appointment directly on your calendar, it will receive notifications automatically from Zoho Bookings over SMS or email, everything is being done automatically. So it's a nice system and again there are some small glitches right now with the system and just take it in consideration. Next we are moving to the marketing section. Marketing automation is right now being revamped to marketing automation version 2. It used to be called in the past Marketing Hub. It's the same system. It's currently, as I said, it's, in being, it's being revamped. I'm not going to touch the system so much. I'm waiting for the beta version to be live. I'm waiting for people to start working with it. And if it's great, then I will introduce it to you guys. The next application will be Zoho Campaigns. Zoho Campaigns will be an email marketing software that can easily be integrated with Zoho CRM. You can send automatic emails using Zoho campaigns. You can create drip campaigns, basically a storyline of multiple messages that will be sent in different intervals. You can create those drips based on something that happens in the CRM. Let's assume that the client decides to work with me and he will be onboarded as a new client. He can automatically be opt into a campaign and he will start to get automatically messages that will show him how to work with my system because he was just onboarded. You have lots of abilities using Zoho campaigns. You can send automatic emails, you can send individual emails, you can send uh, drip campaigns based on different scenarios. You can send salesperson in the CRM notification when someone is actually reading or clicking on the email messages. So you have lots of abilities, it's a very good application. Next you have the social media marketing which is Zo Social, also very good application. You can connect your social media feeds to Zo Social, you can post in one shot, you can post an advertisement or a post to multiple socials in one time. You can receive Twitter messages and Facebook messages directly to Zoho Social. They can automatically create leads based on those messages. You can do lots of cool stuff with it. It's a very, very nice application. Next, we're jumping to Zoho Survey. Zoho Survey will be a nice application that will allow you to send surveys manually or automatically. And whenever those surveys are being answered, they will populate automatically in the CRM. I really like to use Zoho Survey as a post survey system. So whenever the service is done, the client automatically is going to get an internal survey asking him how was the service and if he's recommending us to other people. If he's saying, yes, you were awesome and I'm going to recommend on you, then I will send him automatically a public link to share his experience on Google or our public review sites. If he's saying that he is not happy with the service, then I will open automatically a Zoho desk ticket, basically customer survey ticket, and then we will contact him and see how can we fix the relationship and what did we do wrong. So. Uh, we can improve our processes and obviously not get a bad review. Zoform will be a beautiful application that allows you to collect data from your customers. As an example, when we are starting to work with a new client, we are going to send the client a Zoform. The Zoform will populate some information from the CRM 
to the ZOO form, so the client won't need to retype information that we already have in the system again, and we are going to ask different questions. Whenever the client submits the form, the form is going to be populated in ZOO CRM, and all the information is available to the salespeople. So that's a beautiful system. ZOO form can be integrated with most of the ZOO applications and there are million usages for ZOO forms. The website builders will be ZOO sites. Not sure I recommend you to use it. It's a very basic website builder. Sometimes it's a bit clunky. Sometimes it's not loading properly. Some people are using it and they are okay with it. It's up to you if you want to use it. But the bottom line is that the website builder is ZOO sites and ZOO sites, it's a, uh, drag and drop website builder that whenever you are building your website, the website is ready for you to be used. Next, we are going to the website optimization. This is PageSense. PageSense is a system that allows you to track and monitor the activity on your website. It can show you, for example, how people are interacting with your website, where they are going to spend most of their time, how their cursor is working on the page and so on. It's a nice small helper and it's not so much an application. Next we have Sales IQ. Sales IQ exists on your website and it allows you to communicate with the website visitors using a chat. It might be a manual chat that people will click and talk to the people in the office, or it might be a bot that there will be an automated sequence of messages that will talk to your customers. What I like to do with Sales IQ is to create a semi-automatic bot, which means a bot will collect the basic information that I want to uh, get from the visitor and then it will be redirected to a live person to continue the conversation, but the live person is not wasting time of asking questions that the bot can do it for him. So it's a semi-automatic uh, system. Next, we have Zoho Backstage. Zoho Backstage, it's an event management system. As an example, whenever you will have an event, you will like to create a website for the event. You will like to tell people about the agenda about the different rooms that you will have in the event, maybe the different speakers that are going to be presented. You will want to sell tickets. Maybe it will be free tickets or pay tickets, but you will need to manage the tickets inventory somewhere. Zo Backstage can do it all for you. There are lots of other options in Zo Backstage, but that will be the bare minimum for Zo Backstage. Then we have the e-commerce platform. I don't like it so much. I prefer to go with WooCommerce or Shopify. The main reason is that Zoho uh, e-commerce platform is built on Zoho sites. The previous system that I was talking about that I don't like so much. And therefore, I don't know if it's a great system. The bottom line is that Zoho e-commerce platform is integrating with lots of systems in one shot. It's integrating with Zoho CRM, with Zoho Books, with Zoho Inventory. So you have lots of abilities under the e-commerce platform. I personally don't like it so much, but of course it's yours to try and see if it's working for you. Next, we are going to talk about Zoho Desk. Zoho Desk is a very, very good ticket system. Basically, it will help you manage your support tickets. Your clients will send emails with requests to a company. Those emails will be translated automatically to tickets in Zoho Desk. Your team can work on those tickets. They can forward the tickets to different people in the company. They can do lots of things with the tickets. And whenever they want to respond to the client with an update or resolution, they will respond to the ticket and your customer is going to receive it as an email. So your customers are working with what they know, which is an email and your team is working with what is best for you as a business, and those are tickets. On those tickets, you can create automation, you can create assignment rules, you can assign tickets to different departments and different teams and different people. You can create SLA that will allow you to manage the tickets in appropriate time, and if your agents are not 
answering tickets on time, then it can be forwarded to different employees in your company. Bottom line, Zodesk is a fantastic system. Next, we have Zoassist. Zoassist will be a system for tech companies that's supposed to take over your customer's machine and debug problems, such as an IT consultant or network companies. It's not being used so much by other companies. The system will allow you to take over your customer's machines and work on them. Next is Zolens. Zolens will allow you using augmented reality to debug a problem that will be for people that are working in the field and they want to convey the problem to someone in the office. A very common scenario will be that in the office you have your smart guy, the one that knows a lot, and in the field you will have different technicians. They can show the smart guy in the office the problem from the field and therefore it can assist them and tell them what to do next. Next we are going to the communication section. You have uh, two different items here. One is Zomel and the other one is Zoclick. Zomel is a very good mail system. It's basically a server that like Gmail that allows you to manage your emails and it also includes an interface that allows you to work with it. I found that Zomail is very scalable, it's very stable and very secure. It's a great system. The only thing is some people love the interface and some people hate it. For example, I own multiple companies. Some of my companies are using religiously Zomail and they love it. It's up to you to decide, but I can tell you that the Zomail interface will have many more features that are not existing in Gmail Outlook or other systems. So it's, I, I think it's at least worth for you to check it out because I think it's a very interesting solution. Next we have ZoClick. ZoClick is one of my favorite applications. It's a system that allows you and your team to communicate using chats, a video or audio meetings. You can work with individual one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. What I love the most about ZoClick that you can also integrate notifications into ZoClick. As an example, when a new lead comes in, I can receive the lead into ZoClick on my mobile device, and then I can connect with him very fast. When there are any notifications, I can notify from ZoCRM, ZoDesk, any application back to ZoClick. So Click becomes basically a system that I will receive notifications versus email because my email is already exploding. I don't want to receive any more emails. So ZoClick is becoming this messaging system that I use the most. It's a very, very nice application. Next, we have the collaboration section. You will have your two different uh, project management systems. You will have Zo Projects and Agile Project Management. Both of them are very, very strong project management systems with different approaches. Zo Projects, which is the project management on the left side, will be more a traditional project management system and the agile project management will be more for sprints, which is the agile way of working with projects. Both of them very good, very stable, very good applications and they can be integrated also with Zoho CRM and the other applications. Then you will have Zo Connect. Zo Connect will offer multiple features such as uh, internal forum to connect with the different team members, posting uh, uh, different messages on a board, creating a knowledge base. You have lots of abilities in Zo Connect. Very interesting application, also very good. Uh, as an example, Zo will communicate with us as the partners using Zo Connect. So all the partners will be on Zo Connect, and Zo can communicate with us and talk to us using this platform. Next, we have ZoLearn. ZoLearn will be a system that allows you to create your company's knowledge base. As an example, you can create their different knowledge base articles, but you can also create different courses. When we are receiving, for example, a new employee to our company, the employee will need to pass a course in ZoLearn. 
and whenever he's passing the course, only then he can be onboarded as a new employee. So that will give him the basics of our company, the way to behave, the way that we work, what kind of things are perfect and we encourage them and the things that we don't want them to do. All that can be done using Zoho Learn. It's a very, very nice system. You can teach employees using videos, using audio, using text files. It's very nice. The team inbox will introduce multiple employees can share one inbox. As an example, let's say I can create a sales inbox that all my uh, sales team can access the same messages across the team inbox. And that will be mostly for people that use Zoom mail. You will have also a way to create one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings, online meetings, or create webinars. And that will be using Zoom uh, meetings. Uh, you can also have a very nice application named Zo Work Drive. Zo Work Drive is like Dropbox, just much better. Zo Work Drive can store files. You're getting about five terabytes worth of space with Zo One as a system, and the more users you have, it will grow more and more. You can also collect information from your customers to Zo Work Drive, and you can also create notifications whenever your customers are uploading information to the work drive. You can define permissions, you can automate processes. Very, very strong application. One of my favorites for sure. You will have in the productivity section, you will have the three on the top and those will be Word, Excel and PowerPoint on the uh, Zo interface. Those will be all online. They are pretty good. They are not as perfect as Google Docs and Google Sheets and, and Google uh, uh, presentations, but they are good enough. And in 99% of the cases, they can do a very, very good job. Uh, you can also integrate those with Zoho CRM. As an example, whenever you have a sheet with different tasks, you can click on a button and it, and it will populate all of them as tasks to your Zoho projects or Zoho CRM. So there are lots of different integrations that's making this solution unbeatable compared to the rest of the applications. Zosign will be a way for you to sign document online, such as DocuSign. I like Zosign much better because the ability to integrate with the CRM and other applications in Zo. Imagine that in, the, in a, with a click of a button, you can send an agreement to your customer when all the information is pre-populated automatically. There will be notifications to your customer to sign the document. Everything is done automatically. And whenever the document is signed, you will get a copy of the signature and the agreement to your CRM. And it will notify you that your client just signed the agreement and you can proceed with the deal. Fantastic. Very, very nice system. Zo Notebook, it's a nice application that allows you to take notes when you are in meetings or anywhere else. I'm using Zo Notebook religiously. I will drive in the car, I will click on a button and record an audio recording that will be sent to my assistant. My assistant will take that and will create the work that she's supposed to create using this note. You can draw things, you can create a task lists you can create notes. Very, very nice system allows you to do everything that you need over mobile or the desktop. Zovault will be a single system to manage the passwords of your organization. As an example, I will have, let's say, our WordPress password. Whenever I need my assistant to go to the website and to make a change, I will share with her the password. Now she can use the password to go to WordPress, but she won't be able to know the password because it's allowing her only to click on a button and log in. And therefore, you know, the day that she will not need to log in to WordPress anymore, the password will void and then she won't have access anymore. You can share passwords using Zoho Vault. You can manage them. 
you can create passwords. There is also a link at the top of the page you will have here on Chrome that whenever you click on it, it's opening the passwords. Let's you go to Adobe, you click on a button, it will open Adobe, it will log in automatically to your account. Very, very nice system. I work with it a lot. In the finance section, you have multiple applications. You will have Zoho Books, which will, it's like QuickBooks, just much, much, much better. As I see it, QuickBooks, uh, FreshBooks, all those zero, all those applications will be a very basic bookkeeping systems. On the top, you will have the SAP, the NetSuite, all the big boys applications, and so is floating in the middle. It will have everything that QuickBooks, FreshBooks, all those will have, but it will also inherit some functionality from the big boys. So bottom line, when I got Zoho Books for the first time, I started to work with the application and not only use it only for reporting or the basic things that you will use QuickBooks. So Zoho Books is a very nice application. You can fully automate it with CRM. For example, when a deal is being sold, it can automatically produce an invoice. Whenever you integrate, let's say Stripe, Whenever Stripe is collecting money, it will automatically be reconciled on Zoho Books and it will be deposited in your bank account. So you can do lots of cool stuff with Zoho Books. It's a very, very nice system. Uh, invoice management will be Zoho Invoice. That will be just an invoicing tool. If you have Zoho Books, I see no reason to use Zoho Invoice. From all our uh, over 1,700 clients, we have only one client that's using Zoho Invoice because they like uh, the way that it works, but I don't think that most people will need it. So expense will be expense management system. Let's assume that you have multiple employees in your company. Some employees will have credit cards or they need a way to report expenses. In those expenses, we need to go to an approval process and eventually they will need to be sent to, to the bookkeeping department. So expense can do it all for you. It's a very, very nice system. Uh, you have also payment forms that will be ZO checkout. It's the ability to collect money online. So imagine that you have a form, the form can collect money online and it's very nice. You have also payroll management in some states and some countries. Not all the world is covered by ZO payroll, but I'm really expecting ZO to open payroll to all the world. It's supposed to be a very nice system that will integrate with Zoho Books. For me personally, it will be fantastic. It's very good. Next, you have a, a Zoho subscription. Zoho subscription allows you to create subscriptions such as Zoho, for example. Whenever you register to Zoho, it will bill you on a monthly or yearly basis. The same thing can be done with Zoho subscription. It allows you to create profiles, collect credit cards, assign different add-ons whenever you have to, and then those subscri subscriptions will take place and will run automatically for you. If a subscription is failing, it will attempt to fix it by itself, and if after a few times it's failing, it will notify you. So it's a very, very good application, very scalable and secure. Inventory management, it's a, also it's a very good inventory system. Imagine that you will have different warehouses. Zoho Inventory can manage those warehouses for you. Imagine that you have a truck that's leaving the, the warehouse with merchandise. Zoho Inventory can track it as well. When you have inventory coming into the warehouse, Zoho Inventory can track it. Whenever you're selling, let's say, a car, the car will be built based on wheels, brakes, computers, whatever. Whenever you sell one car, Zoho Inventory will take the different items that builds a car and it will deduct all of them in one shot because you just sold the car and the car includes all those items. Of course, Zoho Inventory is working with your Zoho Books and Zoho Expense and everything works together as one database. Very, very nice system. 
Uh, next we have the human resources. The human resources will have uh, ZO people. ZO people will track people's time. You can have weekly or quarterly or yearly reviews in the system. You can manage the employee's data. You can sign uh, agreements with your employees. You can onboard employees. It's a full HR people. We're using it in the office. We have some big clients that are using Zo people. It's a very nice system. Zo Recruit will help you to recruit people and have the entire process in Zo Recruit. Imagine that you have one place that you're, you're opening a position in your Zo Recruit. Zo Recruit will post it to multiple boards at the same time. Whenever people are applying to the job, they will automatically be pushed into Zo Recruit. So it's a one place that managing the entire process. In Zo Recruit, you will have a process to onboard those people, to schedule reviews. It's a beautiful system and works very well. Whenever the process in Zo Recruit ends, then Zo people will start as onboarding the employee as a new employee. Then you have uh, different applications in the business process. The first one will be Zo Creator. Zo Creator is a custom development platform that you can build basically anything on it. So if one of the applications that you need, you need is not part of the Zo application, then you can create your a custom one here. We can do it for you. You can do it yourself. But Zo Creator is basically a platform to create applications. Business intelligence will be Zoho Analytics. It's like Power BI. It's a system that allows you to collect information from third party places such as QuickBooks, as an example, Google and so on, or from the Zoho applications. And you can create dashboards and reports. I personally, once a week on Friday, I will go to my dashboards and I can see what all my companies are doing and I can see where there are different problems and I can adjust it with the CEOs of my companies. The integration builder will be Zooflow. Zooflow is like Zapier. It's a way for you to integrate with third parties using drag and drop. There are hundreds and hundreds of applications under Zooflow. It's a very nice application. And in case that the applications that you need to integrate with exist in Zooflow, let's say QuickBooks as an example, then you don't need to pay money to Zapier and it will save you the subscription and you can do everything in one place. Then you have the data cleansing and preparation. It's connecting to the way that you're managing data uh, most of the time in the analytics uh, sense. And you can play with the data uh, without impacting the live, live data that exists in the different applications. And the last application that we have here will be the contract management. And that will be a way for you to manage contracts with people. 99% of the company will, companies will use or sign to do that. But some companies will require much more robust contracting system with ability for revisions and changes and interact with the clients. And so uh, contracts will do this job for you. There are more applications that all the time popping up on the Zoho One. It's just being added more and more and more. And there are also more applications that can be introduced uh, in Zoho, but they're not as part of the Zoho one. But as you can see, it's a very, very robust system. And it's very, very good. You are you know, a company with 10 employees or more. I welcome you to schedule with us an intro meeting. We can discuss your different business needs and obviously I will be happy to try to provide you solutions based on your business needs.